6.22 miles, 10 minutes per mile, 143 beats per minute on average, still low heart rate training. Although on a day like today, I'm not sure how much faster I could have run even if I weren't low heart rate training, just because the conditions were extremely tough out there really cold uh, temperatures were just barely above freezing really windy even for chicago the wind gusts were just super intense the waves were crashing all up onto the lakefront path and uh, just really dark and very hard to get motivated to run on a day like today. Yesterday, I ran under very similar conditions in regular running shoes, and those definitely didn't cut it because there's just so much water uh, up on the trail and getting into your feet. Yesterday was more about rain and deep standing water. Today was definitely about the waves. To give you an idea of just how windy it is, I'll show you footage from another day earlier this week where I was run commuting home along the same area that the footage you just saw now. And for example, up uh, by the chess pavilion, you could see where the lake kind of normally sits and all that area of concrete all the way up to the trail, all the way up to the black pavement where my feet were up to my ankles was covered in water from waves today. Uh, it was just super intense. And even some of the areas where I normally get my feet very wet, uh, there is a bike path that's not that far from where I run. And so most of the time when you see me getting my feet wet, it's because I choose to. There's usually a very easy spot for me to get to, uh, to keep my feet dry. But today things were so rough uh, and I was so worried about how much water there was coming up and washing up onto the area where I was running that I did take the bike path down. I, I ran it up the way back home thinking that maybe the wind conditions had changed a little bit, uh, but I definitely regretted it because while the turbo shields are definitely very, very waterproof, uh, it doesn't matter if the water is above your ankles and above those high top shoes and the water is getting into the shoes. I mean, it might be to the point where I need to get gaiters or uh, I just need to be better about avoiding some of the more dangerous conditions that are out along the lakefront in Chicago. Now I did turn around today. I wanted to run a little bit further than I did on my out and back, but I did turn around because there's one point on the Oak Street curve where uh, even though there's a ton of pavement and then the path is really wide uh, to give the water a lot of room in case there are uh, lots of waves for the water to come up, but there's also a really tall wall and sometimes the water comes all the way up to the wall and uh, that happened today. And whenever that happens, that's when I usually have to turn around because I'm really concerned that one day I might kind of get washed into the wall, fall or hit my head or something like that, and then get pulled out into the lake. That's uh, a big concern. And so whenever the water comes all the way up to the wall and it's intense, that's when I turn around and that's how uh, intense conditions were out there today. Great day to be testing out the shield. Uh, I was so happy to have them. My feet were very, as long, until that point where the water got into the shoe from the top, my feet were absolutely dry, very toasty, very warm. Uh, these are probably some of the hardest, con even though it's like I'll run in snowier conditions, I'll run in slushier conditions, I'll run in colder temperatures, but this like near freezing air temps and cold water and rain, uh, that's just for me like the hardest conditions to run in. And so I feel like this makes for a really great test. I did run with them on that other run commute as well. So this is my third run in it. In my second run, uh, I was just enjoying run commuting home running by the lakefront and I definitely got surprised by a couple of waves. Uh, so I got another really good chance there to test how good these shoes are at keeping water out. And these are probably the best shoes that I've ever had in terms of water protection. Again, on some of those intense waves, water is getting into the shoe from the top and there's no level of high top shoe that can really kind of prevent that level of water intrusion. But as far as like water being stepping through water, stepping through giant puddles, standing water, uh, getting waves washed over my feet, these were amazing. I'm so surprised at how well they've been doing and I've been very happy to be running in these shoes. So just a quick little update, still not a ton of miles in this shoe, uh, but definitely having a lot of fun every single time that I put them on. Uh, if you have any more questions about the Turbo Shields, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you guys more down there. 
Before I go, I do want to remind you guys about the charity runner for this week. This week, it's Will Fernandez running the New York City Marathon and raising money for the MEB Foundation. I was very happy to donate $70 to Will's fundraising efforts, and I'll post a link in the description in case you'd like to learn more. That's all I have for today, everybody. Thanks so much for making it to the end of the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. Yo, what's going on?